Let's explore how we can take our Dockerize Next.js web application and push the container image to Docker Hub using GitHub Actions. Now, Docker Hub requires you to have a username and password in order to connect to it. And we normally would do that using the Docker login command. So I have an account, Sydney Andrews, on Docker Hub, and I have a couple organizations here. And what I want to do is push to my C Sharp Run organization. Now, the way I can do that is I can go in and say, hmm, I'm going to create a secret on my GitHub repository. So I go to settings and then secrets. And because of from home protection, I've already uploaded my Docker password. I'm going to create a new repository secret called Docker username. And here I'm going to put in the value of my username. Now I've done the same thing for my password already. Now, I'm going to be able to use these secrets within a GitHub action workflow, much like we use the secret GitHub token. So going back to my repository landing page, I'm going to just jump in to my YAML file. I already published the GitHub packages, and that, that includes building the container image. So I should be able to just go name, publish, to Docker Hub. Just got to spell hub correctly. And for this one, I'm going to use the same exact build push action. I'm going to do with, and this time for the username, I'm going to use my secrets that I've created. So secrets dot Docker username. Password is secrets dot Docker password. Registry doesn't need to be set because it assumes Docker Hub unless you specify another registry. So this time I'll just set repository. Now for this one, I'm just going to do something as simple as C sharp run, just like my GitHub organization name. And I'm going to call this container image next. Now for tags, I'm going to do the same thing we did up here, which is latest and GitHub run number. So that's it. That's all I really need to do. So let's, Push to Docker Hub, make that commit. Push from our local repo to our remote, which is our GitHub repo. Go back in, go to actions here in example next web app. There's our push to Docker Hub workflow execution. Let's see if the job is running. The job is running. So setting up the job now. So ideally what will happen here is we'll push, then our C-sharp run organization will be updated for the next container image and we'll test it by downloading it locally to our um, local Docker instance. So here we go. It's building our container image already. It's gonna do the build for GitHub packages and that build usually doesn't take as long the second time you try to build it because um, Docker is really good that if you haven't made any changes, you try to build the same container image again, um, it will just use what's already existing. Um, it will use the layers that already exist rather than try to rebuild. Um, obviously, there's some caveats there, but it should be pretty fast. So we're running npm install now. It's pulling down our npm packages and it's gonna publish the GitHub packages. And just as a quick reminder, on GitHub packages, we have our next container image. We already have version five, which is the same as the latest tag. So what this is gonna do is push to the latest tag again and create a tag for number six. So five will be the older version, latest and six will be identical. So here we go. NPM run build, so it's doing the next build and next export. That shouldn't take too much longer. So once it's done export, here we go. All right, container image is done. Now it's pushing that container image to GitHub packages. There we go. So if we refresh, we see version six and latest have both been updated recently, where version five was updated seven minutes ago. Now it's going to publish to Docker Hub. You notice how much quicker it built the container image? That's because it was already built. So the only thing it's really doing is pushing to Docker Hub. So we go to Docker Hub and refresh. I have my C Sharp Run next container image. We'll see it has the tag six and latest. It does have five because I didn't push to it before. So I should just be able to do uh, Docker pull C Sharp Run next.
Let's pull in a container image. Docker run. I'm going to run this detach. I'm going to publish port 80 to port 4000. C sharp run next version 6. All right, should be running. So if I go to HTTP localhost 4000, my container image is running. So here I'm able to push both to GitHub packages and Docker Hub using a single container build and set the tags as appropriate on each platform.